Well, I've been around, born in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Then uh, family moved to uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin for a little while. And then I went back to Georgia with my pops and I stayed out there for a few years. And then um, we came out to Cali in like 91. So I've been in Pasadena since 1991. Pasadena High School, uh, Bulldogs. Uh, the difference was, you know, out there, I knew everybody in uh, both of those states. And then when I came to California, you know, I didn't know too many people. Um, just family, introduced uh, most of my family out here and, you know, hung with them and got to know their friends and made my own friends at uh, high school. And then from there, it was just, uh, it was just cool. You know, the difference was, uh, just the people, like, you know, you can go to different cities, but things are always the same. Uh, after high school, I had, uh, went back to Atlanta, went to Atlanta Metro for about a year, and then um, I moved to Seattle, and I was living in Seattle for a while. Then I came back to Cali, and just been different places, Arizona, Vegas, you know, trying to find my way, you know, but always doing the music. And old school, like Big Daddy Kane, uh, Run DMC, you know, listening to them guys and LL Cool J, and um, just fell in love with it. Then maybe like nine or 10 years old, wrote my first rap, and I must've said that rap like a thousand times to anybody that wanted to listen, you know, so. I just fell in love with the hip hop. Different people, different styles, different way people rap, and I just wanted to express myself as far as things that I was going through, you know, growing up, moving around, uh, dealing with, you know, uh, drugs in the family, you know, uh, things like that. So that made me want to tell my story and just uh, be original, you know, try not to be like anybody else. That was the that was the main reason, just to uh, get heard, and you know you had a lot of rap ciphers, and I always wanted to be in them. It was like, oh, you too young, you too young. But then when I said I wrote that rhyme, and I just kept saying it, saying it, and then I started learning the art of freestyle. Just say what's on the top of your mind, and you know, trying to get that up, and you know, I just fell in love with it, giving you that rush. You know how that rush is, man. Well, it took the uh, the family and broke it up, basically, you know. Instead of uh, mothers and fathers taking care of their kids, you know, they were out chasing that drug, you know, chasing that high. And, uh, you know, the families and the children were left, you know. There was always a big brother or a big sister in the house when it was multiple kids. So the sister took on the mom role or the big brother took on the dad role. And, uh, you know, that's why families, a lot of families that I know, the brothers and sisters are so close because the mother or the father was out doing their own thing and they had to fend for themselves, you know. So, um, you know, broke up a lot of families, man. Uh, current project right now is, uh, it's called Past Due Final Notice. And uh, right now we have about 17 tracks on there with a couple of interludes, you know, in between. But uh, I chose that name because uh, I've been in a lot of different rap groups from uh, a group called Japan to uh, Sexual Chocolate Posse to uh, my current uh, crew is uh, Dina Affiliates. And I just thought that I'd just venture out and do something on my own. And you know, because when you're in a group, you got a lot of different minds and everybody want to do, you know, different things. The group that I'm currently in, Dina Affiliates, we all kind of have that same mind state to you know, have that one goal, but, you know, when you go solo and do your own thing, it's like, it's your mind, your way, and, you know, however you want to do it and however you want to envision it, that's how it's going to plan out, if you plan it correctly. So we've been working on the album for about a year now, and it'll be ready uh, February, uh, Valentine's Day. We're going to drop the uh, single Valentine's Day, and then we're going to drop the album uh, that Tuesday. Well, uh, we get back to the original name, Juice, uh, buddy of mine, uh, Styles, Sean Styles uh, from the Dirty Unit. 
you know, I, I would just call myself RG, you know, and he was like, man, you got the juice, man. Your name should be Juice. We gonna start calling you Juice. That was back in like 92, 93. And then um, my buddy Otto, he always, you know, him and, um, oh man, my mind's running the blank, but the uh, Dina Boy franchise is a clothing, is a clothing line. And um, I must have said it in a couple of rhymes and every show I had, Otto would be right there. Here, man, wear this shirt, wear this shirt. And then I start going places and then they just start saying, oh, Dino Boy Juice here, Dino Boy Juice here. And the name kind of stuck. Like my rap name is actually Juice. I just added the Dino Boy because that's like, when I put the Dino Boy on it, that means everybody from Dina to me. It doesn't mean like, oh, that's Dino Boy Juice. He represent this. No, I represent everybody that's from Pasadena, struggling, rapping, uh, whatever they doing, working, taking care of their family, you know, like Dina Boy get a bad name, like, oh, that got something to do with gang banging, but it's all about music and clothes. It don't have anything to do with, you know, gang banging or nothing. I've never gang banged in my life. So, you know, when people look at me, I'm positive. I do everything the right way, you know, work, take care of my kids. And, you know, so Dina Boy is a lifestyle. It's not really a, a, a name. So I added the Dina Boy for the lifestyle and the name is actually Juice, but Dina Boy Juice is just a lifestyle of Juice living in Pasadena. But yeah, it's uh, myself, um, SD, the Bread Boy. We have uh, Flossie B. Uh, we're the uh, rappers in the group. We have uh, Nate Hooks, he's the singer. And then we have uh, Marlon and Joseph, they produce. So it's like a, a whole little crew of everybody does their own thing. And um, Flossie B also makes tracks. So, you know, we started, when we started with that, we would be in uh, Flossie B's house all day, every day, doing like four or five songs a day. And it, was, it didn't start to be a group. It started just being two friends, you know, coming back together. Um, because we always rapped in high school, playing basketball on the way to the game, on the way from the game, um, you know. So when we clicked back up, we was like, man, let's do a couple of songs in there. Every song got better. Every song got better. Every song got better. Then we was, he was like, man, we should get the group, you know, together. And it was me and him at first, you know, with Nate singing. And then uh, I ran into my boy uh, SD, the bread boy, and he was down. And we just been running ever since. We have an album. It'll be ready, too, by the summer. It's called Zoisted. Ah, Pasadena, um, well, you know, the old saying, you know, people in a barrel trying to get up or pulling each other down. I just feel like, you know, people shouldn't, shouldn't worry about the next man, you know, worry about what you're doing to with your family and, you know, not look at this man like, oh, he's doing better than me. I'm going to go pull him down. Oh, he wearing this color. Let me um, stop him from what he's doing. <coughs> Let me stop him from what he's doing. I just think everybody, you know, I'm about positivity and love. So, you know, anybody I see, I'm, hey, how you doing? You know, because I, I try to give off that positive vibe. So I feel everybody should just, you know, I can't say love one another because, you know, like people kind of got away from that. So what we need to do now is just respect each other and go from, from there. And about the music, you know, everybody should have, uh, not, a, not not saying a say so, but like uh, say if this guy's doing a show in LA, you know, it should it should be at least some people from Pasadena like, oh man, let me go to that show and we're gonna rep our city. Cause you know, I've, I've done plenty shows and you know, you may get like five people from Pasadena there, you know, whereas I have friends from LA in different areas, it will be about 15, 20 of them. You know, like, oh yeah, we down, we down. But when it comes to the home, everybody want to be that man in the spotlight. You know, like, you look at any other city, every time you see anything they do, they got a whole lot of people behind them, you know. And that's all we need to do is just get behind each other, whether it be a rapper, black businesses, uh, restaurants, or people selling clothes in the neighborhood. We should all support that, you know, and, and you know, get with them and show them that, you know, we appreciate what they're trying to do because they're not just trying to sell stuff to Pasadena, but if you can make it in your city, you can make it anywhere. And it's just hard for people to make it out the city. Future plans is just to keep making music, you know, trying to make the best music possible. 
You know, I work with a lot of producers in the area. Mike Towns, uh, Paco Swartz, S Class, uh, just a lot of people in the area, man. And um, just keep moving forward. You know, finally getting the music to reach more than just Pasadena. You know, everybody can make a CD and pass out CDs, but how many places can you be at one time? So you know, we taking this, uh, we taking this and putting it online. We gonna have hard copies. You know. Just try to see where that takes us, you know, and um, the future I'll be working on another album. It's, it's not going to stop, you know, whether I sell one or a hundred thousand copies, we're going to keep moving because it's not for the money. You know, people say they don't do it for the money. Of course, we would like to make money, but if not, we still do it for the love. You know, we do it for the love and, you know, uh, having your people just follow you and, you know, do what you do what you say you're going to do. If you say you're going to do this, you're going to do that, you know, so. The future is just, it's wide open. You know, we're gonna have like three or four projects coming out this year. <coughs> My project, um, SD's project, uh, Dean Affiliate project, Flossy B project, you know, and that's within the Dean Affiliates, you know. The whole, like the Beat Fam, you know, the whole crew got things going on. So, you know, we just try to, you know, show respect to each other and, you know, come out, support, and, you know, do what we do. Posted is just a video about having a good time and you know hanging out with your friends and you know going to talk about life basically what you're doing and why is this dude or this female trying to bring you down can't worry about all that but you just got to keep going for that common goal that you and your friends or you and your family have of getting ahead in life. Don't make me squeeze yo, yo, Fuck with a nigga who got mouths to feed Put your hand in my pocket, I'ma make you bleed yes, yes. Bills fast, dude, do what I have to Suckers do what they can, I do what I want to You ain't a bad bitch, nigga, I don't want you Game on point, nigga, sharp like a Gensu Getting money, fucking bitches, what I'm into Welcome to my world, baby girl, what that shit do? Wake up, get my cake up, I'm out here Survey the block, make sure it's all clear Then I post up, all my niggas roll up I don't smoke, so I pull up till I'm toe up Post it on the block, on the block Grind Grinding never stops. Getting chippers, man. We be smoking, we be drinking, we be hella twisted, man. We be, we be smoking, we be drinking, chilling with a fifth and man. Post it on the block. Post it on the block. Grinding never stops. Getting chippers, man. We be smoking, we be drinking, we be hella twisted, man. We be smoking, we be drinking, chilling with a fifth and man. The block's hot, but we still gotta chase bucks We make money, boy, the money never made us It only made us wake up and want more Made up my mind that I gotta get it all, boy I'm feeling this shit If you're really on your grind, then you're feeling this shit We're reeling this shit, sign stealing this shit Driving this shit, fifth wheel in this bitch Fuck a hater with the quickness Niggas wanna trip, but they know I'm with the business Act a fool on a nigga You don't wanna see me lose cool on a nigga Got the fans doing stakeouts Trying to have me on media takeout 
on the block with the K out. They want a trip, I'ma show them what it's all about. Getting money is the object. First, you get the money and the power, then the respect. Can a nigga check me? I'ma fuck around and put his head where his chest be. I might show you the recipe. Always on point, so you never get the best of me. And I'm fully with the bullshit. Wanna find me? I'm posted up and I'm getting it. Niggas wanna trip up on a nigga, cause I wake up in the morning and I really go get it, right? Niggas wanna trip up on a nigga, cause I wake up in the morning and I really go get it, right? Niggas wanna trip up on a nigga, cause I wake up in the morning and I really go get it, right? Niggas wanna trip up on a nigga, cause I wake up in the morning and I really go get it, right? I'm set on the block. Juice. Oh, what's up, man? Oh, okay. What's good with it? What's good with it?